Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on whereabouts you are in the world. I hope you're having a phenomenal day so far. And welcome to today's stream, where we're kicking off with some Crusader Kings 3. This is our regular Wednesday game. I say regular, but we've been away for two weeks. And uh, this is our chilled out kind of cooperative game. We've got the latest DLC enabled, so there are... Oh, have been much plagues, very yes. And we're all based around uh, the Spain and Portugal. So, uh, without further ado, I'll grab the other players in for you. So we should have... Let's give me a moment. Let's grab... Uh, players. There we go. So I need to make a quick change of the background, otherwise you wouldn't have been able to hear them when we grab them in. So we have Cookie, Laz, Physics, Hobo, and Angst. Uh, we're missing Russ, but we're starting without him. So we are underway. Good afternoon. Hey. Where... Had me worried. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, it's fine. So we're up and running and we're playing and Russ is going to hop join as and when, I think. Afternoon. I don't know what you mean. If hey I'm guys. Seven in the morning. Hey. This was the lost game of me having a death spree. I've just realised this might be a bit of a problem with Russ being away. Ah, it uh, might not be too bad. No Laz either, right? Uh, no Laz is here. I am here. Yes. I say you're controlling Leon. I am. Gonna stab that little bastard in the back, aren't you? You're the regent uh, of Leon. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Lazion. Hey Sherlock, um, how's your day going? I've been I'm in, in a war. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Is MJ here? No. I wonder if he forgot that this one was even still going because Flanker wanted to take a vacation from dealing with us. <laughs> Seven days out of the week. Uh, he'll, he'll know a getaway. It's fine. It was just one a vacation. <laughs> going to work <laughs> meeting and being ill is my best of vacation. Yeah, it's the kind of vacation <laughs> you get away from us. The things, the things, <laughs> you'll do, the things you'll try to do to get away. You see how you are. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> right. Uh oh. Very good. Very good, Lurg. I have a rather large army coming towards me. Scheme at court. Someone's trying to overthrow me. Uh, it's taken till now. I think it's because I overthrew someone else to become the regent. <laughs> I'm the good regent. I don't know what you're telling about. This, the child is irritable. Oh yeah, I remember what I did. Huh. That's right. Oh, this is a skull dog read focus. Isn't it? Yeah. I died and then went to war 
at, on the side of my cousin to make sure that he didn't lose the land, so that way I could get it. I'm trying to re remember my primary focus for this game. I think I was trying to make Portugal. Yeah. That's about right. Thoroughly overwhelmed by stress. Let's go on. Oh, I think that's his vacation day, Sherlock. Wakey Borgie, are, are you sure, Les? Financially, that country ain't doing so well. Wow. It'll be easier for him to take it over if, he, if it's not doing well. Because the guy he's running it for is the one that looks in at not him. Why does it sometimes stop mousing around? Sucks. Your last county is about to be taken. You need me to come help you? Oh, yeah, I'm on my way. <laughs> I'll be right there. Oh, no. How terrible for you. This is completely new information to me. <laughs> sure, I'll join your war. I'll be there. <laughs> Three working oh. days. I'm, uh, I, I just look. It takes it takes additional time to make the physics regiments look this good. Uh, it's just gonna be there in just a minute. Just uh, you go and sit in the car. We'll be right there. <laughs> Hang in there. Doing great. <laughs> All right, a flanker was involved. He'd probably been the one in the front pulling the cart. Well, I mean, the reason I, we we uh, were off two weeks ago is was I was a, a little horse. So. Uh, Yeah, I seriously doubt you were a little horse. Why did I go for war for Bayer? Oh, hey, Braxius. Hmm. Oh, he's in debt. That sucks for you, buddy. Ah. Oh, then Jess not here. I... My kingdom's in a bit of a mess. Oh, is he running late or is he just not coming? Uh, I don't actually know. No pressure either way. No pressure either way. He, uh, he may have forgotten. Yeah. Or may just be busy. Uh, I just... Because he's got... I've given him the Duchy of Navarra. That guy is cured. He's no longer uh, dying from that stupid plague. Oh, I got any prisoners?
Look at that guy trying to go towards compromise. Gross. Uh, that's the only way we can go, because we're already in the middle of the other one. Yeah, but he's building me a city holding. This is very kind of him. I bet you may have told him to. No, this is the guy I'm currently attacking. Oh, you're taking his city over. Good job building that city holding for me. Just discovered Branus. So have any of you ever formed the Mongol Empire? Because I'm basically as close to doing it, but I don't know, because it, it says your realm becomes the Mongol Empire, and I have no idea what that means. <laughs> um, like if you go uh, to and stuff. Uh, it, means, it means you burn down China. I mean, I, I can't quite do that. It's not physically on the map. It's like, I'm thinking about like more, more de sure. Um, what is going to happen here? Uh, uh, as far as I'm aware, you basically become Genghis Khan. Yeah, I, I know. So yeah. You get massive desire to conquer the steppes, and then you try and conquer as much land for all of your children, that then it shatters into 50 bajillion pieces. <laughs> but it's After like, okay... Die. You, you know what I'm asking about? It's because I can't, right, currently I'm basically mostly within the Mongolia Empire title over here in the northeast. Does this take to sure to drift anything? It's mostly that what I'm thinking about. Uh... You become me, oh. say Sherlock. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure if just forming the King of Mongolia versus, like, claiming the title is actually, uh, the same thing. No, no, I'm... That's, that's not the same thing. No, no, that's it. I'm talking about the specific decision. It, it just says... Your realm comes to Mongol Empire. That's one of the effects of the decision. So it sounds like there's some dissuad there if... Like, the instant dissuad sh shift going on, similar to doing the Balearic Islands thing. If you're playing a Sardinia. Yeah. But it's very unclear what it actually does.
This war is never going to end unless I go down there and end it. Don't make me turn this war around. Is oh yeah, Russ isn't here at the moment, is he? I could shift privileges and get 150 gold off. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, but the option's there. something up some coffee dropping Wow, ten thousand, huh? That that's enough raiders for you. Oh, sounds like you need more. Hobo just went by with two boats. One had nine thousand, the other one had a thousand. Who me? Who, who anyone else have ten thousand troops on the fucking move? I don't have ten thousand troops. Oh, that wasn't your flag. Oh, it looks like someone's about to have the a Nord Nord neighbor. <laughs> I wish I had ten thousand troops. Somebody didn't know they wanted Nord neighbors. Uh, apparently MJS is in is loading up. 
and he's in the waiting room. Yeah, oh, hey guys. Right, if everyone could stop uh, doing everything just for a second, I'll pause now. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go and do the washing before this happens. Yeah, sorry, sorry for being late. I was getting groceries with mum. It was the only time we were uh, able to do it. No worries. It, no worries. It's fine. He also didn't say that we were not going to do it until right before he started it, so... Ah, uh, Sherlock's added me to some kind of list. That's okay, Sherlock. You're already on one of mine. I'm sure I'm on several community lists. <laughs> I'm on Flanker's list of people he can't ban for fear of Wagley. <laughs> that's, that's probably true <laughs> of which i am probably the only member yeah i think you may well be uh i wasn't paying attention only member of what oh the uh oh, yeah. list of people i can't ban because waggly will kill me okay but that seems like a promotion what death it's, it's certainly felt like it a couple of weeks ago <laughs> um, there is an eternal war between the forks and the spoon. Should one ever fall, the other shall reign supreme. When Bellwright stream, uh, I don't think so. That's from Donkey Crew and Snail Games. Let me have a look and see if they've sent me anything about Bellwright. I have a sneaking suspicion they haven't. Physics just subscribed. Release in six days. Way too many games. Uh, it's an EA release. Yeah, I was just having a look at it on um, on one of the press platforms. I've requested a key. I'll see what happens. Hey, Mark. There are a lot of... Like, it seems that we've had a dearth of city building type things like banished desk games for a while. And then we've got Father's Frontier and now we have a whole host of really cool looking city builders and transport games that are uh, very much my sort of thing in a very short period of time. There's only like a handful that were coming out and there were like the super small ones that were independently developed so they moved to the snail space okay it doesn't look like which mine, is entirely yeah. fair just doesn't really catch many people's eyes doesn't look like my uh, character screwed anything up so yeah i'm good to go you ready to go okay i'll uh unpause this uh, if you can put off doing anything until the end of the month just so yep. reduce the no chance of desyncs um bell right feels like medieval dynasty with more combat and war nice yeah because we've got and I, I think even just in hooded horses stable you've got <laughs> uh mana lords uh norland Uh, 
They're making so many cool stuff. Cool, uh, or publishing so many cool games at the moment. I get it, Flanker. What if horses stable of games? <laughs> oh, glad someone appreciated it. And there's new, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, you've, you're right. Workers and Resources is Hooded Horse. I mean, Hooded Horse have a, a cracking list of games. Man, that, that game's been getting developed for a while. I remember seeing it years ago. I didn't even remember it was Hooded Horse who published it. Yeah, so you got Hooded Horse, are Against the Stars, Alliance of the Sacred Sons, Beyond These Stars, Blacksmith's Master, Breachway, Capital Command, Clan Folk, Empires of the Undergrowth, Espiocracy, which I still haven't played. Uh, every Day We Fight, uh, Falling Frontier, uh, Farta Deum, uh, Fragile Existence, Heart of the Machine, Hex and Hunters, Mana Lords, Mars Tactics, Menace, Nebulous, Norland, Nova Roma, Old World, Sons of Valhalla, Super Fancy Kingdom, Terra and Victor, The Way of Wrath, and uh, Works and Resources, Soviet Republic. And the like, Partridge Pear Tree. They, right? They're, they're just... There are so out. many cracking games in there. I'll have a donut with that order. I feel I'm like uh, that many. They've just chosen their indie studios really well. I've not been super disappointed with anything I've played that they've published. There's Bell Right and there's what's the there's another transport one coming out soon. Um not me checking my list. Nothing. Mm. Ah. <laughs> that was a press release from Paradox today. Uh, and more DLC coming for Total War Warhammer 3. The Thrones of Decay DLC comes out on April 30th. Like, we really are on the tail end of a golden age of gaming right now. I say tail end because, well, take a look at what's happening with the. Uh, the studio's trying to get funding at the moment. The big three indie successful. game publishers have most of the good stuff. Coffee Stain Studios, Chucklefish, and Hooded Horse. Uh, so isn't Coffee... Hang on. Let's check before I say this out loud. Uh, coffee Stain are the ones that made Deep uh, Galactic, aren't they? Uh, so Coffee Stain and Lee, as a developer, made Satisfactory. Um, yeah, and... So Goat Simulator. Goat um, Games is Deep Rock. Ah. Um, but Coffee Stain are actually part of Embracer Group. Is Satisfactory ever going to finish? Uh, yeah, they get they on their final stretch for uh, their one point release. They've. Uh, They've changed their release um, They've schedule. Said that before. No, to be fair, they haven't. They like they've given. They're now they're now very much focused on like a 1.0. They've shut down uh, intermediary patches, and everyone's working on the same game version. So I've, I'll find the video. Um, they've intentionally given out wrong dates before because they think it's funny. Oh no! This is an actual plan that they had. Like they, like they've released the. Um, like the arachnophobia they, they put into the game because all the people were complaining that people with arachnophobia were afraid to play. Better question is when is Project Zomboid finishing? Because that's oh. that's something you can say that never, never. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
So on the topic of city builders, um, there is one that I have that has always looked pretty good, and I'm absolutely... I saw a larger content creator make a video on it, and uh, I'm absolutely blown away by how much more is in the game since the last time I played it, like a year ago. And uh, it's called Songs of Six. I've had that for a few years now, and it's just one one dude independently developing it, and uh, would recommend is like factorial level logistical city builder where you know, efficient usage of all of the populace to make sure they have everything to satisfy all their needs and then there's actual like proper trading and diplomacy and with the scale of hundreds and hundreds of people total war s combat too <laughs> when you're defending or even invading other kingdoms it's that's crazy it's, yeah it's it's incredibly ambitious and there's a reason why it's been going for several years and yes fire you're right sorry valheim and deep rock galactic are published by coffee stain publishing knew it yes. as is songs of conquest midnight ghost hunt uh hunt down um a story about my uncle, Sanctum 2, Sanctum, and uh, whatever the um, okay. Goat Simulator. That's a, couple, that's a couple games I haven't thought about in a while. Mm. Also, Hobo, you have me confused. You said that there were uh, bigger streamers than Flanker? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said... Yeah, I think content, you misunderstand how creators. fat I am at the moment. <laughs> content, content creator, he made a video that... Is he's basically the antithesis of Flanker, so I'm not going to say his name. Also, you know, advertising other people on live content from other people feels a little bit low class. I'm sure there's someone here who knows exactly who I'm talking. Maybe. I wasn't listening, so if that was a nod to me, I missed it. No. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, I got sent a press the. Uh, I think because of options, um, that my team have set up, I get sent press releases in English, French, and German. Uh, so this one, I'm really realizing how rusty my French is. Oui, one for... oui, ha, ha, I speak fluent French, see? Is it about croissants? Uh, no, it's about uh, Total War, Warhammer Thro 3 Thrones of Decay, coming out on April 30th. But in French. It's about managing three croissants at once. <sighs> It's just the uh, Bretonian version of the press release. Manage et toi, croissant. <laughs> Omelette du fromage. Also, what's more confusing is the German version of the um, press release has the first line in English. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see, that just seems more efficient. <laughs> Oh, well, it looks cool. Um, an EU4 to get new large expansion Winds of Change arriving on May 8th. Yeah, that's supposed to be... Supposed to be their final one so Tinto can work on Project Caesar, which basically everyone is saying is basically just EU5. Yeah, so, so he's adding major American nations, major trading nations, gunpowder empires... Central Europe, major formidable European nations, minor Orthodox empires, 
and I th yeah, just and the heirs everything. of the Ayyubid dis uh, dynasty. Yeah, just rounding out everything that uh, hasn't really been touched for a while. I think the only thing in that that hasn't been touched in the past few DLC is uh, the American stuff, because I think they're doing custom America. mechanics. Central America. Break yeah. as Texas. Like the Aztecs, oh, the Mayans, oh, and the Incas. Not real America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that is real America. Thank you very much. Th those <sighs> nations literally have the same exact mechanics since the game's release. Which I'm honestly kind of surprised to. I, uh, I don't know how many of you have been watching the Fallout series. It's very good. Worth watching. Even if you're not into the, the games. But... I, mean, I am starting to come around to the idea that kids should be taught media literacy and you shouldn't be allowed to comment until you uh, pass a media literacy exam. <laughs> the, the complaint, the, some of the reviews or co some comments on some reviews of it were things about, oh, they're making Fallout woke. Yeah. Have, you, America? Have, you, have you seen have Fallout like before? <laughs> Have you played Fallout before? Yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? Did you watch any of the show <laughs> before you? And look. Anyway, the, the it's not the show's not realistic, is it? There's no bugs nor glitches. The you're not going on constant missions. <laughs> <laughs> not once. Not once in that in because I binged I binged the whole season and not once did Lucy get stuck walking across something. <laughs> Or randomly get I, killed I from a see, distance. I did see. Get clipping into the floor. I did see a screenshot of a day one patch to the season, so that's at least there. <laughs> 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 Trying. <laughs> but the thing is, Flanker, if everyone did have to do that um, exam, what would be, what would happen to YouTube? Like the comment system would be entirely devoid of life. Isn't it already? No, you've got a lot of idiots that keep yapping. It's that is uh, that is life. I don't want to live. It's just, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's it's more that there are some things in it that don't quite align with the original lore, but ha that happens with literally every single adaptation. Ever, which is why people constantly make fun of adaptation. How, why are they saying it's woke though? I don't. I watched the whole season. What What are they talking about? Um, uh, because uh, it's a buzzword. People, those people consider most Western media to be like that because it's they compare it to Japanese media, which has vastly different ap appealing to vastly a vastly different consumer base. And, um, I mean, some of the uh, some of the comments were that they uh, um, they some were very funny because they saw themselves in it and it wasn't about them. <laughs> like, I can't believe you do this take off of the Christian Church. You're like, ah, <laughs> hey, mm. um, oh yeah, because the follow series don't criticize religion at all. No, 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 they've never been known to. Uh, also, uh, criticism that the um, one of the protagonists is uh, is gay. Um, the uh, criticism about uh, the color of the skin of one of the protagonists. You're like, really, really? This is what you picked up on on that like eight eight episodes of content. It's just. Oh. It's, it's, it's not forgetting it's that they've got a transgender yeah. person playing the part of a transgender person in the in the episodes. Yeah, we, had to to Fallout. we hadn't had transgender in Fallout before, but, but I mean, are you surprised if Fallout would have thought about it in the nineties? It would have been in Fallout Four. Oh yeah, definitely. And it, like, it's the tr the the media train because there's people upset in the forty k universe. Because there are female space marines. Well, aren't just female space marines? <laughs> like, I, it, it, isn't that a whole I'm, point I'm, of like a whole chapter? Of, I mean, like, to I be specific with that, it's that saying, artists, yeah. it, it, to be specific, the recent uptick in that is from them saying that there is 
female custodas, which is directly against some of their oldest lore books that they've ever had. I, I as a and fan of the Warhammer Fantasy fun. Universe, I don't know if you know this, but they've retconned so much over the years. And female space marines and female, um, like, the female space marines were around in White Dwarf 99, which is going back to 1987. Like, it's just, it's a freaking fantasy sci-fi universe where everything is grim. And also, if people think that the Imperium are the good guys, they're wrong. Good luck. There are no good guys. <laughs> like, they're, they're, oh, wow. people, the entire people, point is there yeah, are no good guys. Over Hell Divers too because they think that. Oh yeah, Hell Divers being woke as well. Like, come on, guys. Media literacy. You were the same people that thought Starship Troopers was a, uh, a, a patriotic war film. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that thing of Hell Divers I can't talk about because, like, saying like, "Oh, you're implementing politics in Hell Divers," and I'm like, "Have you have you played the game?" Like I don't, I don't understand. I don't. I. The what? only reason why people <laughs> say that they're implementing politics in a game is because modern, just modern in general, is so hyper focused on all of the politics stuff that it's difficult to not make a story that people will in inevitably try and make uh, political. Like, like, I'm one of the biggest critics of Disney for the woke stuff that Disney has done. Like making Snow White not white when the whole thing is about her white is 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 uh like if you're gonna race or 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 if you're gonna race swap or sex swap a character, make sure it brings something to the story. Otherwise, what's the point? But on the other hand, it Fallout. I mean, they've had every gender and every race and every position in every one of the games. What uh, what are they talking about? I mean, it's because they haven't played the games. They don't understand the lore the, or the history of Fallout. I think a lot of them have played the games, but just decided. Not I think those to... people that ha I think it's that those people have played the games so much that they want it to be exactly like the games rather than. Um, well, the, like, like, it's, like, it's like the people that are mad that there's no black people in Shogun. There were no black people in that area. Then. And it's yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> like, no black people in Fallout ever. Female Primark when yeah, like I. Yeah, it just blows my mind that people get so het up on fancy stories. Like it's because all they have left everymore. I mean, have you looked outside? Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. The world is on fire. I mean, I know that even I'm just absolutely exhausted about constant retcons and not keeping consistent with the established stories. Oh no, I gave Russ an idea. Uh oh, that's why I hate some of my longtime favorite series is, is is nowadays because they did that. But I mean, I can I can get it, but at the same time, half of those over half of those people are focusing on the wrong things, and then the people that have legitimate complaints are drowned drowned out entirely by the stupid. <laughs> like 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 I, I heard that that uh, when the next. Uh... Uh, what is it? The Fantastic Four movie comes out. Silver Surf is gonna be a woman. I get it, diversity, inclusion, all that crap. But why? What does it bring to the story? It doesn't Nothing. bring anything. It's why? Just inclusivity. That's the only yeah, reason like, that people do these things. things. But when it's already inherent to the story, and there's already there's already plenty of of inclusivity in a story, don't say woke. <laughs> They getting upset about uh, Star Trek, I forget. Oh yeah, because Star Trek isn't about uh, a lot of very different people. Star Trek uh, has always uh, been a very liberal. Yeah, that's kind yeah, of the thing. Like that, it's that, like they were very liberal back when they started. It's pretty conservative nowadays because we've been eighty years. But holy cow! Yeah, yeah it has. <laughs> Oh crap, Matt! Blanker is Blanker. just finding out exactly how old he is. I'm sure Blanker can remember turning on it's, his it's been six black years, and white tube television. It's like Flanker takes a nap and then he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is not that old, Flanker. It's 
I, I exaggerated by 20 years. I added 20, I added 30 percent. Oh dear. Oh, it's, it's a, no worries, thank guys. Only like 60 years. <laughs> yeah, it's only been almost 60 years. <laughs> I don't remember what year Star Wars came out original or Star Trek came out originally, but it was in the 60s, late 60s. I'm currently watching the original Dragon Ball all over again. I was, uh, uh, was I, it, before it, I was born. It was July 12th, 1969. Yeah, so it's, it's nice. So, that so is 55 years. Yep. yep. Almost 60 Today we years. found out that Flanker is 55 plus. Oh, hang on. That was... Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh my! Well, so yeah, that was when it was first aired in the UK. Sorry. You add a few zeros to the end of it, of course, Les. Oh, so it probably came out a year or two before that. Yeah, uh, I reckon so. But I'm just having a look. Ninety. Oh, uh, yeah, 1966. Sorry. It only had like a three or four year run, so it could have been much earlier than that. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I'm I'm enjoying watching um, classic Doctor Who, which was all before I was born, and. Dragon Ball. I just need to. I I'm behind on watching the stuff I want to watch on YouTube. Never mind actually adding old TV. Oh, <laughs> uh, like YouTube has got to the point where it literally bores me now. I there's n I can't really find things that hold my interest. I'd rather go back and watch the classic TV. I stuff. I've. I've honestly been using YouTube for so long that any of the complaints people have about the algorithm don't factor on for me because it it I actually see what I want to see and it recommends me people who I'd actually want to watch. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I uh, my YouTube I've turned off. Uh, so uh, Google um, have a feature where you can turn off your search history which I've done, so I don't have a homepage anymore. I only see my subscribed, um, uh, the I've, channels I subscribe to. Yeah, I've I think I've found... Thing. It's a lot nicer. <laughs> I think I've found more people that I actively enjoy watching in the last two years than I did in the past, like, five or six years prior because of the way they changed the algorithm. I don't know what they did in that time, but I've act it's actually throwing me new people instead of just throwing the same old garbage at me over and over again so the only way google can target me with new stuff which is quite entertaining how it does it is that if i just let it play on after a video um because i play for youtube premium it will just keep playing for the like the next thing so if i fall asleep with youtube on i do find some weird and wonderful videos that it's decided that you know the uh the the how, however many steps of separation <laughs> you're like how did it get here like for a while it was just uh ltt's wan show but really old episodes it would start playing it's like cool uh recently it's been uh architecture and psychology which i can at least understand if you like some of the videos i watch but i like architecture really me, nice me too if you are interested in like construction architecture, uh, oh, what's it called? The construction channel on YouTube. Do, do, do. Uh, the B1M is well worth watching right um they Thank do you. loads of um coverage of architecture and building tools and um and like major construction projects they they build themselves as the leading construction channel on youtube um but there's some really interesting stuff there was a project i which did make me feel old there's a project i worked on the beginning of that just recently finished that's <laughs> like huh <laughs> I haven't worked for that firm for more than a decade. <laughs> and how does that make you feel? <laughs> I could feel. Also, Fire, thing. Russ, and Laz, you are. You, <laughs> that is dangerous ground you are treading there. <laughs> I've been reading it and laughing internally the mm. whole way, and I, 
I want to see it happen now. <laughs> so the new Daughters of the Emperor chapter, um, we're going to do them like a rainbow colour scheme, right? Yep. Riding There's unicorns. A... Yeah. There's a couple of awesome um, miniature painters that do... Uh, like different styles of painting but they've been doing some like neon space marines they look freaking awesome oh nice man i'm gonna live forever i'm 59 i'm still in good health i had temperate holo body athletic hail healthy masquerade galen whatever the heck that is and iron constitution need to live at least 10 more years why do I need to live 10 more years? Because you're 59. And if you live 10 oh. more... Let's say, in 8 years, my kid will be freaking 16 and he could become a ruler. And I embrace celibacy, so I won't have any more sons. I just gonna click this and see what happens. <laughs> it's saying I could steal gold from Flank. Oh no, Genghis Khan! Oh, yeah, I... I oh, you're that. region, that's why, okay. Wow. I look that but up and then for no to show land, I think. Read it to you, yeah. Do I you... wasn't expecting to be uh <laughs> your region. He trusts yeah, you, you to know... so not steal gold from him. Yeah. You don't get... By the way, I had a spy master event that they stole all my gold. <laughs> They're currently yeah. in my dungeon. You don't Good. get any direct to your land, but you do get a massive feck off sized army. Of okay, special that's... soldiers to go cool. any yeah. unique CB to use. Go make your own Dejur land. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's, that's the whole thing I was wondering about, like why, like how that worked with uh, Dejur or not. Wait, these don't so attrition? Are I reading this correctly? What is happening? They're not yeah, using they, supply. They, that those armies don't use supply. What? Yeah, it's incredibly powerful, and now you have your entire lifetime to conquer as much land as you physically can. I mean... So does this army dissipate when I die? What was saying? Uh, it's just that you get forced onto high partition from selecting that. I guess the lion Ignore the fact the that my uh, territory's grown. Oh, I can't. I, I can't ignore that, lass. People keep dying. I don't know how that happens. Who wants to be the emperor, by the way? Because I've not been pushing for an, the empire of Hispania. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm just trying to make Portugal. We need either an emperor or I will become a king separate from Flanker. I mean, I'll be separate anyway, but yeah, you know my point. Yeah, and that's not me asking to be, that's just me asking the question if anyone's thought about who wants the um, who wants to form the Empire of uh, Hispania. I, have a king I think it should, should be physics. Wow. Yeah, you, you're in charge of Andalusia, or moving, that was your, your game aim, wasn't it, bud? Who wants to be an emperor? No, I started with uh, Garnata. But yeah, I'm taking the kingdom of Andalusia. How does that make me king of Spain? Well, it doesn't. It's uh, it's just one of the largest land masses. Yeah, so it makes sense to... Either that or one of the, re the rest of us push down to yeah, through Valencia. Valencia. Well, there isn't going to be three kingdoms for me to take to get that. I'd have to take Valencia and then... I have to have, have one of you be my vassal. Because <laughs> I can't get bad at Joe's because uh, Laz wants Portugal. Uh, Russ wants Leon. And they're both poorly positioned to take what they want because they're in each other's way. Why can't you take Valencia and Andalusia? Be have you two king types? You need three to get the empire, don't you? Not that I'm aware of. Hang on. 
Uh, you no, you only need kingdom. two kingdom titles for a Hispanic. Well, then I could do Valencia. Yeah, only if you want to, mate. There's no pressure either way. I've got a couple of territories in Valencia. No, all the pressure. Do it. Do it now. Uh, I gotta finish getting Andalusia, which I probably will have here pretty soon because I'm getting the third three or four duchies done right now. Hey, yep. That's a pox. A pox. Oh, why do I care about that? That's in... That's in, that's in, that's in your house. Area. Ostjok pox. I thought they said it was nearby. Gosh darn it, Russ. First you abandoned the Thursday game because two games was too much at once. Now you're not here. It's up there do you realize the, Do you realize the amount of hell that Pinkland has put Ryan and the Banks through? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a little bit tough. That's okay, though. We're trying to keep Pinkland alive. Let's see what I mean. Of how much blood has been shed for it, it's more like the Redland. Pretty much. Mm. Like those Norwegian uh, fjords are currently very red. Hey, Genghis Khan. What's up? Keep your pox over there. Yeah, I see it. I am hoping it's not going to smash I, my I, capital, then I don't care. Yeah, I, I don't care if you see it. Just keep it over there. Yeah, it was, you know, kind of Genghis Khan who brought over the Black Death from all of his conquests. So. Hmm. I didn't think he did that. Kind of. I mean, it sounds like a thing he would do, but... I don't think he did it on purpose. It was just, you know, the, the same thing as... Similar to the outbreak of smallpox in the New World. He just brought over diseases that the native people didn't have resistances to. And it became the Black Death. Mm. Do I want my kid to be freaking eccentric like me? <laughs> sure. You eccentric? No. I was putting it lightly. No, well, my character is Emir Galileo the Mad. Galileo, Galileo. And I had the eccentric personality man. trait, which does minus two diplomacy, plus two learning, minus 50% stress gain, plus 50% stress loss. So it's, or actually, it's plus fifty percent stress gain and plus fifty percent stress loss. So it's a bit of a roller coaster with stress, but plus twenty percent monthly lifestyle lifestyle experience. What you're saying is you're insane. Yeah, but do I want my kid to be insane too? Yes. <laughs> Oh, look, it's raining. How oh, unsurprising. Oh, Wait, pretty... right. So, hypertension like means that no, here. that new Empire titles won't be created, right? Uh... Fifty-fifty yeah. 50 chance that I get 105 gold without being noticed. Ah, yeah. uh, they found out. I mean. Oh, my army just downsized quickly. I w didn't pay my uh, mercenary companies. How many of us are still on our first character? 
I'm not sure. Be, he's on his third or fourth. Yeah, I'm still on my first. Yeah, I had a master's death spree. Blank is still on his first. Not for long. Well, he's on the first in real life. So, but I mean, we all our characters are the same age, and you look about 30 years older than me. <laughs> I feel it look too, Buzz. Look how old my character looks, too. He's got lover's pox, so his face is all messed up. Yeah, I won the lotto with my first character. Only one son. I only have one son. Don't look at my character children list or grandchildren list. See what it took for me to have only one son. <laughs> Am I not still my first character? <laughs> They can't yeah. start my first character. Let's have a look. Yeah, yep. you are. You're I'm still on my first. So, yeah. Yeah, all of us that started with 16 year olds are 60. I just feel it in my back. And my knees. They don't bend anymore. Oh, they bend fine. You just gotta put some force on them. It's just hard to unbend them afterwards. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I can know how that works all the time. Don't uh... you? Oh, my child died. No. Oh, well. Do it. I think I'm about to die. Oh, cool. My new heir is possessed. <laughs> oh, you're wounded. Okay. Holy Mongol invasion of... Okay. Right. 100 prestige to take a kingdom. That's okay by me. Kind of. Uh. Yeah, sorry for the yell. I did not expect that to be so cheap. <laughs> uh. Oh. Ever so comfy is this region. Power level four. Sound pretty powerful.
That's a lot of gold you're holding there, hobo. It's fine. Why are you poor? No, I'm not considered poor at the moment. I'm just uh, liberating this non-Catholic Spanish gold. I feel like this should be in it. <clears throat> okay, so is Russ coming back or not? All answers point to no. Uh, the gold is Spanish, how do you know? Uh, well, when he was um, helping them take it off of out of the uh, the chests that they were in, uh, he was standing in Spain. Yeah, that sounds like it makes it Spanish to me. Yeah, and it's pointedly not Catholic gold, because the coins appear to have Arabic minted on the... Uh, around the faces on it, so I can only assume it's from the Sunni side. Why does the abduct scheme never seem to be very good? I think it's balance reasons. Like, it's honestly just better to abduct someone than it is, uh, at least in my opinion, than killing them. You got your toy in today? Oh, nice. Does it need any work on it? Or was that arriving fully working, my friend? Things can arrive fully working? What? Hobo's, Hobo's army's just watching mine crush another army. Yeah, we're just uh, studying. Good shit, fluids, but it seems to work out of the box. That's awesome, dude. That is very cool. I'm quite jealous in a big kid toys kind of a way. <laughs> what is it that you have? He uh, he shared it in um, Discord and social. Wait, I took a trebuchet? No, it's bigger. Oh, yes, I saw that previously. Well, it might have a tree bucket on it. That's the same thing, right? Yeah. Hey, Hobo, I could use a small influx of cash. Oh, well, I suppose now that you've taken a l even more land that I can no longer raid. You've got the whole southern area. 
You have the whole coast of Africa. You can't. You've never been able to raid much of the Iberian Peninsula. And we've just oh, been talking about who's going to be the emperor of the Iberian Peninsula. So, I mean, it's going to be player owned at some point. Well, yeah, but in the short term, I can. But, I mean, if you don't want to give me the money, that's fine. I get it. Keep your money. I'll get out of debt eventually. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> just walking through your land lines to get to the ocean. So you only have 3,000 troops to go discuss this somewhere else. <laughs> I'm sure with the uh, almost 1,000 gold, I could have more than 3,000 troops. How much money you put? I can break. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you here. He uh, had 895 almost... before he gave me 150. Yeah, and I have 260 heading home from raiding uh, southern Portugal. I weaken them for you, Laz. You should be easy to conquer now. I can't. I can't. I've already attacked them. <laughs> no. Sorry. It is nice every so often just to zoom out of the map and just look at angst. <laughs> just... Don't, look at, don't look at the curtain. Don't the curtain. Here's all our kingdoms. Uh, this is me, Russ's kingdom normally. And then there's just angst. <laughs> the... the Genghis Kangst. No, no, <laughs> uh, turn, off, turn off the player. Turn off the player. Just look at the name of his, of his kingdom. Well, I'm doing okay. Banks has half a continent already. Flanker, <laughs> show them the show them the name of Anks area. Genghis Kangstar! And you didn't see it get even bigger. Oh, I was on the play of you before I didn't see that. That's brilliant. <laughs> what do you mean? You're always welcome to join, Russ. Yeah, f jump in, Russ. This is our smaller game, so it doesn't tend to desync. It's the bigger games that uh, well, become I a decent here. fest. That is until Re until Russ joins, and uh, then it starts to desync. Then we can just blame Russ. So blame Russ. I believe Russ isn't here. Yeah, so disappointing. Right. Much disappointing. It's not, even, it's not even here. He's he. He is not even here to blame. Oh. I just mean more blame for Flanker, I guess. <laughs> He's going to show up just in time for us to end the session. If you're Russ, walking into a trap. Uh, no, if it's a blue, a big blue sheet uh, that's to stop the uh, the water falling from the sky, that's a tarp, bud. <laughs> Yeah, you walk into a tarp, not a trap. Although, why are you walking into one of them? Yeah, yeah you're you meant to walk underneath them. That's, uh... yeah. <laughs> you ordered a tarp earlier. <laughs> Is that so you can protect your gaming setup? I need what? a weekend with clear weather so I can actually do outdoor groundworks here. Clear weather in Britain? Aren't you asking for a bit much, Frankly? Yes. yes. <laughs> the problem I've been is waiting for some clear weather to get out in the garden myself. Yeah, I've got a level. Like our garden is roughly as level as Anx territory. So uh, <laughs> after a third party contractor came in and did some groundwork, so I need to at least get four level points so I can put the. Uh... Why is everyone giving me money? I'm not complaining, but why is everyone giving me money? If I could afford to make it down there, I'd love to help out because that that's uh, doing things with my hands just makes me happy instead of depressed. Well, is it because people are terrified of me? Probably. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, it's okay. Several several people just gave me 150 gold. Uh, ah, nice. Can I have them? <laughs> 
It's okay. Currently, it's uh, negative one degrees non-freedom units and lightly snowing in April. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think it's somewhere between two Celsius and uh, twelve he today. It's pretty mild. pretty mild. He lives in Montana. <laughs> Yeah, by this time next week, it's going to be, uh, like, whatever perfect weather is in, over there, in, in not Fahrenheit. Oh, my wife's pregnant again. <laughs> I saw a very funny thing, uh, this week that someone was like, uh, talking about, um, the minimum wage in California. They're like, well, if these workers don't like the cost of living here and can't survive, maybe they should live somewhere else. I'm like, you are, you realize that that doesn't help you with your staffing for your place, right? They're not going to commute from Montana to, <laughs> to California to come work for a, a four hour shift, right? Bless them. It's just. My tax collector just wanted me to give him 375 gold. No, dude, I don't have that much money. That, that's not how taxes work. <laughs> I mean, if it were a reasonable amount. What a cheeky kid, little kid. He just tried to tell me to step down. How rude. Who does he think he is? The king? Yeah, tell me about it. Sure. Someone just paid me 10 gold for a person. Oh, he's got the embezzler secret. Oh, right. I gained cancer. I guess I'll be dying soon. Oh, rough. Well, my spy master now doesn't actively hate me, which might help with my survival chances. Mm -hmm. Oh, compromise space is going to take over. I am very proud of my granddaughter. She has become a mastermind philosopher, thanks to me. I guess it won't be going to war for the last duchy yet. Who? Me? Me. Can't afford to go to war for the last duchy if I'm about to die. I'm not about to die. You're All fine. Right, pausing up. Your house is fine. If everyone can stop doing things for a wee second. Yes. Yep. Well, oh, rest is your you cancer. You'll be fine. Work, work. Job done. Rejoice, for I have returned. Excellent. Welcome back. Welcome back, sir. Good to see you, Russ. Now that you're here, there's a few problems. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, lads. I trust you to fix them. Uh. Well, there's your first mistake. Yeah. It's about time you did at least one bit of work today. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, he resembles that remark. <laughs> wow. You know, I used to I used to like you. <laughs> but uh You should start with a smaller lie, lass. <laughs> <sighs> I 
Ow. So, how badly have you guys messed me up? Well. I didn't know we were supposed to be messing you up. Uh, I assume you just did it through incompetence. Well. No, your AI did that to himself. What? No, the AI in this game's amazing. It's... Actually, it's, pretty okay. I was gonna say it's to say. actually yeah. not bad. <laughs> yeah, like you, you you learn how to exploit it and stuff, but it it is like people talk about it, like the need to be better and stuff. But it's it's actually not bad. Um, it is it is for an AI. Like people have to take that into consideration. Um, yeah, yeah, taking into consideration, AI is actually not. pretty good. The same people that made the AIs are Stellaris. <laughs> that that's kind of the weird thing, right? Like. <laughs> I think uh, Stellaris, though, is just way more complicated. Like, the AI in this, there's not really much for it to mess up other than, like, military-wise when it's moving around, which it does mess up all the time. I'm spending your money yeah. building the wrong buildings. Yeah, but players do that as well. Yes. <laughs> also, right, I'm just going to hit start, and then if everyone can let the month roll over before we do actions, that'd be great. Um, also, the game lags when I select all of my army. You, you know... Uh, I'm upset. Russ joined, and the exact next day after, one of my counselors died in his sleep. Wow. I'd just like to say I was home alone at that time. So, unfortunately, I don't have a witness. Yeah, no, I was with him. It, it was ah. my spy master as well. That's unfortunate. And I think we have a desync. Yep. Wow. Russ. <laughs> so, yeah, never mind. L let's not bother. Are you sure? Yeah, no, we I'll connect, dude. Uh, uh, fine, I'll give it one more go. I'm gonna let it run on for a few days. We'll assume somebody was pushing buttons while you were connecting. I can guarantee I was not, even though I wish I had pressed. I've replaced my spy master now. Hopefully they don't die the second Russ joins. Probably should have gone on to um, Victoria 3 uh, at some point during this week um, so that I actually knew what the buttons were. But Pausing now. That requires effort. <laughs> Yeah, it's easier to just figure it out as you go. Yeah. That way you can just ask people. Le genuine question. What is there to do in Victoria 3? Is it just the economy management? Uh, there's also politics. Like just and, passing laws, right? Um. Well, yeah, but you also need to manage your parties. Otherwise, you won't be able to pass the laws that you want. And right. The DLC is focusing a lot on more diplo uh, diplomatic actions and that sort of thing. As far as I understand, I've not really looked into it, but okay, but cool. I have pre-ordered it. It's supposed to be more ways to grow your empire in the diplomacy that they're trying to sell the game on. So, Because they've said many times they don't want that game to be a war game like their other games. So that's why it's focused so heavily on the economic and politics side. Okay. So I was worried I was missing something. Was... No, I mean, the, the only other thing you could do is go into colonization, start colonizing, and fight some natives for some land and have more um, As protesters person, to shoot though, cannons at. I wouldn't recommend you try when... colonization. They were successful at not doing it. 
I mean, I don't think anyone's colonized near the Congo. I know the Belgians are really good over there. But yes, Flinker, now you know how I feel about Victoria. And the only reason they have so many hours is chasing stupid achievements. Some I actually of them, got a load of achievements in it today. Yeah, some of those achievements have taken several tries that I still haven't done. I hate Thank the you. paradox achievements that are like mostly RNG based, like require other empires to do well, certain things. It's even more RNG based because a lot, even just law passing is RNG, and something like the Indian Territory basically requires you to attack America at just the right moment during a massive civil war. If no civil war happens. Probably not even going to do the achievement. That's strange. Right, I'm in. I should have got votes for winning, deeds not worth achievement, because I did pass the suffrage law. Or is it only yeah, applicable only... to... Have you got Iron Man enabled? Nope. No, you don't need Iron Man enabled oh, for yeah. achievements. I, I, was, I didn't was modify any of the uh, settings. He, he's in flanker, you can start it up. So yep. can anyone else. Right. Uh, <laughs> right. If everyone can not click for a few days or until the end of the amount, month. My amount of not clicking had what had the fact that I murdered a cousin to get my land back exposed. So uh, I'm long term suffering for Russ. So if he leaves, I'm going to be <laughs> healthier than usual. And there it goes. Oh, what? Why is that only you, Russ? I don't know, but it does sort of prove the theory that it is hot joins that cause issues. Yeah, so, I, I hot go on without didn't me. Having issues, it, it's just confusing. And I if think you guys start be, having issues like, now, then it's clearly a blame flanker for making me join. Yeah, I think I've, it might I've, be I've multiple. Blame flanker. Like more and more destable lies, the more hot joins there are. Because even in Stellaris, we can usually do like the first hot join, and then after that, it starts to show problems. Yeah. I think that's a common with Paradox games overall, though. Like, the more the more data, the more hot joins, the more unstable it seems to get. Yeah. Like, when I'm playing with a friend, we, the only time I've ever had issues with a friend one time is a mod that very clearly is pushing the limits of Hearts of Iron. And Can I ask I you a favour, guys? Can we try just re-hosting? Because there's an hour yes. and a bit left. And I'd I, like I to see if it... Them. Because if Russ still drops out, then we know it's a different problem. Yeah, I've got no problem with that. I, I actually think, and it's not like a humble brag or anything, like, not even clicking anything, the game chocks because of the number of armies I have here. Like, um... Yeah, just zooming causes the game to start right. order. I'm going to restart CK3 from scratch and rehost. Yeah, same. Because I yeah. want to... It's actually helpful while it's our kind of smaller chilled group to figure out what the uh, what the challenges are. Oh, I just opened up the wrong bloody game. Rip in peace. <laughs> oh no, you have opened up some oh, random I'm thing that you have. CK3 to shut down. Here we go. Yeah, mine was taking forever as well. I just opened uh, Victoria 3. Well, we I'm so know excited game to really play our multiplayer play. game later. Well, we've you? still got about four hours until that, Les. I agree. You I'm can ready. have it running in the background. My CPU isn't good enough for that. <laughs> got cloud error from the game. 
Victoria Peak as I said. No, stop. I'm going to go finish sorting my coffee while I wait for it to load. A respectable choice. Yeah, I'd never gone achievement chasing for Paradox games because some of them are so freaking random. Yeah, I don't really uh, you actually need random, random events to happen for you to get them. So you have to replay the game over and over to try to get the setup each time. And then hope, hopefully the event happens. Yeah, I don't really chase the random ones too hard. Like uh, Even most of the achievements I have in EU4, it's like, you need to do this particular set of things that you as a player can properly influence. Just Victoria... Uh, Victoria and Stellaris are the two worst ones for randomization. <laughs> I, oh, do this thing that is related to this uh, archaeology that's not even going to pop up every single game. You Thanks, probably Harry. don't want to set up the uh, game on stream. Um... I don't think it makes a huge amount of difference, but I can always hide the screen for a wee second. Well, I mean, it depends on whether you want to drop the password. That is fair. Whole point of not having the standard password is to make it harder to freaking get to, right? That is fair. Uh, right. Are you bringing logic to this? Uh, how I dare you? It's logic. hard. It's hard considering who the streamer is. I know. That's what I'm saying. Really? Hey, really? There we go. There we go. My game's still loading. He still did it on the stream. Yeah, because I uh, the capture took three seconds after I pressed the button to disappear. <laughs> At least it's not like um, thingy my blob, or is it like thingy my blob? It is. Where it shows the password. It does. It, it did show the password. I mean, button. honestly, the password's not that big a deal with this because it just it, all it is is stop like people randomly guessing that are going through the list because you put one, two, three, four, five, everyone guesses. I or thought that you, was super secret. Or if you use 555 when the host name has 555 in it as well, they can guess that. Yeah. So your super is. secret passwords aren't so super secret anymore. Shocking, isn't it? I have no idea who's fighting over there by Huesca, though. <laughs> I think that was the password. Yeah, that's what I'm doing as well, just Ooh. pasting and hoping for the best. Yep. Because I'm sick of trying to copy from Discord. I'll update the checksum server in the Discord as well. Oh, sorry, the server ID as well in Discord. Big bugbear of mine with this is that if you, uh, if you go through single player and then open it up to multiplayer it shows you in game the server id if you go into host a multiplayer it doesn't even let you see this lobby until the first person joins oh that's weird uh-huh that's why there's always the server name password going up first then the server id comes later Sorry, I think I muted in time. In this that. game, I can find you on the list. Whatever other game, Stellaris, I can't. I can never find you on the list for whatever reason. I have to hot join. The, I have to join via this direct way to see it, the server ID or through Steam or something. I managed to join. Like the issue. No, I do the same way. I just filter by FLA for flanker. Is our Wednesday game actually running bigger than our Thursday game at the moment? Yeah. Wednesday game's always been bigger than Thursday. I don't know why you ignore Wednesday so much. 
I don't ignore Wednesdays. Wednesdays is my Wednesdays favorite game. Moment, yes, I'll be yeah. right back. Last two weeks, you ignored Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was too I, sick to even travel on the first Wednesday and the second Wednesday. I had to go to the work thing that I. And then, uh, you, sir. and then this week, we didn't even know what was going to happen because it seemed like you didn't know what was going to happen until like right beforehand. Hey, I. I didn't say it wasn't going to happen. Yeah, I was going to say, if he doesn't say it's not happening, then you just assume that it is. And it was well, also on the schedule, to be fair, at the top of Discord. Did, did miss two weeks in a row, you know? There's yeah, but I did call those out them. well in advance. <laughs> <laughs> you call, uh, last week, I didn't know about it until right before we started. Yeah, same, to be fair. Ah, uh, well. I'm not saying you didn't call it out, but I I didn't I didn't I looked around for it the day before I didn't see anything saying was it wasn't going to happen. Yeah, it was a deferred because uh, I had to go on the the trip, which adds work. Dude. You can't get out of work. No. Jesus Christ, the loading times on this. So I could queue up a whole bunch of commands now. Uh. Okay, staying at the same zoom level, not clicking anything. Also, most of my army is currently merged. Huh. That last duchy I took, I didn't notice it, but he has the uh, Sheikdom of Labla, the other side of the uh, of the Medi the opening to the Mediterranean from freaking where we're at. So I own the Strait of Colossus. <laughs> I own the Colossus statue in the Strait of whatever it is. Strait of Gibraltar. I should charge hobo taxes every time he goes through the Strait now. Yeah. I believe it's called a toll, not taxes. <laughs> Screw you, I'll just sail up to France. It'd be quicker to get to France if you pay me the toll. <laughs> is there a bridge nearby? Because I think physics is under it. Hey, Holland. Holland. I mean, my capital county does have a bridge in it. Your palace is under it as the troll, right? I both seems to be stuck at 100%. Not sure why. No, me neither. Better being stuck at zero. My game is has the loading circle and it's saying this application not responding, but the games have done that before where they just need Yeah, yeah, just leave it a minute. It'll be so, I'm sure we'll catch up, yeah. but it's not like we're running at the same time as loading, so And I was hearing music the entire time until I looked back at the screen. So uh, obviously, if it does crash now, it's Linker's fault. Shouldn't have looked at the screen. Uh, yeah, your dynasty's still there, Holland. There you go. 
Yep, give it a moment to actually load on my end. There we go. Okay, I'm going to give it a few seconds after I hit start before I hit play, just like everyone's. Game catch up. He's mentioning me in something. Oh, Russ, really? <laughs> what? Uh, UTC? Yep. It's what civilized folks use. Agreed. So what's that in the UK? We're plus one, so eight. Oh, uh, that's fine then. Well, it's moving. <laughs> Wait until the end you of may, the month. You may hear my daughter in the background shouting out here, here, here. Hey, Laszlo. Things that children watch. Well, I think that proves it is hot joints that cause instability. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's not get carried away. It's not been that long. It's been over the edge of the month, which is always when it crashes. It either crashes yeah. immediately, like within seven days, or at the end of a month. You're just asking for a crash. Yeah, well. Well, Ryan's not than, here to touch than... his Ethernet cable. I don't know if you can hear her saying that. She's going, here, here. Unfortunately, all we can hear is you. Wow. Oh, wow. Here, here. The Aldom of Holland is indeed still there. Um, and no, clicking on other countries seems to actually push it through. That's the only reason I didn't go up there before Holland. Like, doing things that are involved in the area you are not loading when hot joining seems to be a great way of getting the whole thing to crash out. I guess you're making it load some different stuff when you go far away. Yeah. Yep, even those clicks on. That's why we say to people, don't click on anything while we're loading. And people click on load stuff. Because it's loading yeah, different things which can cause it to desync. Nope. Yeah, Not just things fair, that I, change the game. Just I, I always clicked on stuff like looking around at what to do. Just didn't actually do things. The only yep. thing I do is click on the current situation tab at the top and like get rid of them so it goes back to zero. Same. But yeah, I guess I, in future we need to tell people to not do anything at all. Like, don't even look at the game. Get your hands off the mouse. And keyboard. Have you ever heard yeah, of the keyboard. saying, just look, don't touch? Yes. And I think that's stupid. Look, look with your eyes, not your hands. Oh, don't. I say that often now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never say these things. <laughs> yeah, but well, you have a reason to. You have to shut it off. The, 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 what makes you laugh is that I like, went into Hallmarks here where I live and they've got all the breakable stuff at child height. Genius, really. That way you don't yeah, have to sell as much. You, you break it, you buy it. Parents. It's got me two days ahead of all of you. You're just so good you're even What's ahead that? of the host. What does the future hold? Yeah, I don't know how. Yeah, I'm even ahead of Flanker. Uh, how am I ahead of Flanker? It is Play Doh. Yeah, but the biggest question is what does the future hold? Hmm? Tell us. No, Tell us. Not a lot. Ugh. What's the lotto numbers? <laughs> Four. Oh, wife's physics of the pond. Impart your wisdom upon us. 
specifically the lotto numbers, so but um, I can get out of here. Isn't pi a lotto numbers? I actually saw a thing on this. It's a thing that was online. Of course, this 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 poor girl. She was saying, if England's eight hours ahead of us, why don't they just tell us what's going to happen? That's a good point. Oh. <laughs> yeah, th these days you never know if they're being serious or not, do you? Yeah. The look on her face, she was being serious. We're eight hours ahead because we kind of need to be in order to actually have the day when the sun is up. Not we are in the future by eight hours. Oh. Yeah. Can I mean, you prove that? You're, you're eight hours ahead because that's where the Meridian Dateline was drawn. Yeah, you know, I'd almost say yeah, that. that if we're going you down this route, I'd almost say that if we're going down this route, the Australians who are much, much further ahead should have warned us, but come on. Everyone knows that Australia is everyone you know from Australia is actually just a paid actor and you're just when you fly over to Australia you're actually just flown to somewhere in Africa to reaffirm the oh, conspiracy it makes my brain hurt world. when people like... everyone knows that the world is flat and they just made up Australia to sell you that the world is round I can tell you now that the uh, convicts at the UK sent over there have something different to say. <laughs> yes. No, I don't think they do because they're all something there. about shrimps and barbecue and fosters. Fosters. Knife. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really twisted the knife in there. Like Australians were listening to this, going, "All right, that's friendly banter." Fosters. What do you mean, fosters? Oh wow, that's a war started. Right, I'm off. <laughs> they would actually beat your ass for that one. No, no. See, I'm the one place in the US even I'll say it doesn't mess with Florida. <laughs> oh wow, are you a Florida man? Uh, I have been warning children that just realized I've been, been celibate for like the whole session. You know, the the uh, funny thing is, is Florida. A vast majority of my friends are also Floridian. Our king died, Russ. What happened? Yeah, Floridians get along great with Australians because we know what it's like to grow up right next to things that want to kill you every day. Well, Canadians. Florida next to Canada? Well, did you fail geography? <laughs> I was just looking at the overall landmass like, uh, like so many people do. It's USA next to Canada seems fine. Florida is just a small part of the USA. And everyone knows that <laughs> south is Mexico, and then Mexico, and then there's more Mexico, and then the Panama Canal, and then a little bit more Mexico. And then Brazil. Somewhere. Florida is as close to Canada as Sicily is to London. Those damn Sicilians. <laughs> oh, dear. In fact, it might be further away than that. <laughs> yeah, but Europe's all one country, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, you want to be the, the European Union, why don't you just all merge into one country? And maybe have different delegates for different regions of the country. Well, you I can show it really stuff. well on the CK3 map if you scroll out and you look where it's England is. To drive from Washington State, if you put it where London's at, at the Kingdom of England, to go to Florida, you'd have to go all the way to Baghdad. Which is pretty much where the flag for the Arabian Empire is. So that, that would put Canada, the closest Canadian border, up at Opoli. And depending on what parts of... Europe oh, you're driving I... through, the terrain almost looks exactly the same as driving through it? America. <laughs> Absolutely Good. nothing. I'm just looking at Russ's character's death message. Unable to carry their own massive frame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that, and I was a bit like, what? <laughs> Andre the Giant level stuff going on.
Hey, my culture is joined the early medieval days. Early, early medieval. I am not the culture head, though, so it doesn't matter. You're not the council. Cons yeah, you're not the what head for what now? Culture head, so I can't pick what we're studying. What culture? I um, less clearly. I might switch to Andalusian. Take over the Andalusian culture. Hey, that's mine. I feel like I feel every like... single person outside of my kingdom knows that I killed my cousins, just not the people in the kingdom. <laughs> I've had like five different people say, I know you killed this person. Ho ho. Give me a hook. Oh, I hate that when they start doing that. Once you've killed everyone. Well, yeah, but yeah, they're like people outside, outside of my kingdom, so it doesn't matter. Uh... Random dude wants to marry my 14 year old granddaughter? No, screw you. Get the hell out of here. Yo, I did actually only just notice when you were. Because I didn't actually look over there. I did notice that you took the. The territory. The strip, up there. Walter? Yeah. I did it on accident. I took the, uh, the, one, the uh, duchy to my left, and the guy already had a piece of land down there. I mean, that's separate from the Kingdom of Fez, so I guess that's okay for now. I was uh, to... I'm going to turn down that. I have to go defend the Walaya of Tunis as a defender from Cookie. Uh, this is kind of concerning. My son is married to my sister. Okay. okay. Are you concerned? Keeping it. Well, that's how you did things, Russ. Yeah, I guess that was the way in the old days, weren't it? Keeping it in the family. I feel our new king's a little bit young. Nah, he's old enough. Mm, well, you guys have got expensive. Can't help but notice that if this vassal dies, I inherit his lands. Which vassal? My half brother with one of the epically long names I'm not even going to try and pronounce. So I'm just going to do a little scheme. Everyone keep calm and carry on. Colin says, close. Why have family <laughs> trees when you can have family shrubbery? <laughs> well, I think family ladder's better. Keep things nice and straight and simple. I'll just keep mine in a ladder. Really, really, really need uh, catapults. That's an interesting Corsica. I think they have more land on. Mi they could form like two other kingdoms beside it. Well, not kingdoms, like four other duchies yep, besides Corsica do. at this point. Um. Can't stop the adverts we did. Oh, bugger, my murder scheme was exposed immediately. Who are you trying to murder? Uh, my son-in-law? Oh, no, sorry, half-brother. He, he inherited half of, like, well, the southern half of my kingdom. Well, not technically a kingdom, but you know what I mean. So what you don't own. Losing your kingdom. Yes. So Astorga and Monterey. Yep. Fifty 
57, 57% chance of this happening. <laughs> if it happens, you have to pay me, though. That's fair. I'm going to say, um, I'll give you some money to bribe people if you want. Although I'm it, still giving you bribe anybody. Oh, I, I can, so I, I'll keep doing it myself. It's all good. That way, if, um, if he dies, people will know it was me and that'll send a message. If you inherit my land, you will die. Wow, our liege died again already. I guess he was trying to inherit one of your lands. Who's this guy? I don't know why, but they keep making me the Chancellor and I've got 12 Diplomacy skill. Oh wait, no, it's gone up to 16 now, but still. That just means they're not useless. Mm. Surprising, I know. Wait, did you just call me useless? <laughs> no, I said surprisingly not. Mm hmm. You're surprisingly satisfactory, Russ. Exactly. How's that anything but a compliment? I think mostly it's because it's the kind of compliment that Flanker gets, so by comparison he feels insulted. Understandable. <laughs> well, the chance of my scheme succeeding has dropped massively, even though I've recruited two agents. Damn it. How goes uh, the Genghis Khan up there? Yeah, I'm getting assassinated properly, but beyond that, that is going pretty well. I mean, that's you pretty have... normal for a Genghis. Yeah. But you have enemy hostile scheme success chance, negative 100%. Really? But why that's yeah. right? Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah, you have that from the greatest of Khan. I guess I still have yeah. a 5% chance to hit it. Uh, yeah. And a plus 50 hostile scheme resistance. And your goal, your army is 50% cheaper. Yeah. And you have like plus 75 vassal. I love how I just got a tr an event to lose drunkard and then I get a mental break to get drunkard again. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Flanker... Stop getting sick on stream. Uh... I've stopped drinking, but I found everything so bleak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could be having need. I oh, know, I've still got work. <laughs> I'm as flu. It's spreading through my lens. Ugh. Oh, he's not coming from my land, so... Yeah, but it's yours. Why have I got Imer's flu right in the north of my territory? <laughs> it's jumped halfway across Spain to come straight to me. It's because he sneezed on a particular spoon and someone stole the spoon and then they went to your port. Oddly specific, I know. Suspiciously specific. I'd like to point out, it's called Imer's Flu. It didn't start in my territory. You'll yeah, tell, so... It's kind of your fault anyway, so... And even if it's not, you're still getting blamed for it. Yeah. Sounds familiar. Boy, another lonely doll for my doll collection. Uh, I can invite people to this murder scheme now. Russ, do you want me to? Uh, yeah, because I'm not going to get it done. Jesus. Who are you stabbing? 
Um, you Nothing to do with you. I know. I'm curious. Not worried. I'm raiding Brittany, and I'm like, ah, ha, la, di, da. And I see raiders from Upland just sail, <laughs> sail across the coast. What's the capital Up of Portugal? Portugal? Is it Porto? Uh. Lisbon would be the. Do I want to give up my entrenched regency? Yes. Oh, oh hey, look, another doll. And Al Ishbuna is the yeah, capital, okay. is uh, Lisboa. That's Lisbon. Whatever it ends your, up when it's not. Your really southernmost, almost southernmost county. <laughs> uh, Hobo, were you going to take that duchy that I have? Uh, I'm not. On the northern coast of Africa? not too too fussed about it i was just taking land over here to have like a secondary place on the coast because um i kind of couldn't do a hunt on the islands <laughs> how did my royal court go down oh it went up to two not down to two what is this Of course I'm right, Sherlock. Do you know how many times I've raided Lisbon across various par par uh, Paradox games? <laughs> Lisbon was my stepping stone to the time that I conquered and converted Rome into uh, Confucian. <laughs> that was an interesting game. my stepping stone for failed attempt at sunrise invasion they need to actually do the sunrise invasion just as like a fun little added thing for this like they did I mean, in Crusader Kings 2 I, I like it what's this about step stones they're good to I step like on the animation, but, but like the whole issue was that people they added it for as a fun thing and people did not like that uh, added things for fun. I think it'd be fun to turn on for a game or two. You know, it's just, you know, if it existed. I know that there's obviously mods to, like, replicate it, but... Like, I liked it. I don't, I don't want to be clear about that. It's just, like, they literally did what they said, and people were angry. Uh... Well, some people... Are stupid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not uh, consenting that at all. Hey, my nickname is no longer the Mad. Now it's the Flying. I got to fly in a hot air balloon. Na, 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 na. <laughs> At least it's not the flying because they launched you from a trebuchet at the enemy walls. Ooh, a tournament. Uh, I'm not going to that tournament. Nor am I. That goes okay. through a lot of really bad lands. Bo got murdered. Yeah, that's sudden. I guess there was a couple people that didn't like the um stuff that I ended up doing. Huh. Like, murdering my way through half of the family so that way I could keep the kingdom intact. And then I lost Fez. Again. <sighs> I just got it back. <sighs> you tried not having it. Yeah, why would you want to wear a Fez? 
Uh, it's a silly hat. And as someone who spent many hours in Team Fortress 2 collecting silly hats is uh, something that has been ingrained into me. Fair enough. So it had to be someone who disliked me because the the inheritance goes to two underage children. So like, yeah. that's what's. No, he's sixteen. He's not ambitious. He's paranoid, but. almost prefer it with that guy just because he's an adult and has 20 stewardship. You know, Flanker, I keep saying that it didn't start in your area. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it started in your area. No, didn't it start in uh, MJS's area? Which is nope. owned by the other own. It's you. You are the king of that area. <laughs> Ethereum. That's where it started. The Puskiowa County. The barony of Ethereum. Yep. Yeah. Yep. In which is MJS's area in the Duchy of Navarro. Yep. He's your vassal. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you take the blame unless you make me independent. <laughs> My people are dropping like flies. Same. Turns out consumption is not good for you. I haven't oh, no. had anyone um, important die of consumption. My only important how, person is still alive. I don't know how. You kind of have to consume to survive and everything. Do your consumption be a good thing? You have to consume to be a good capitalist. Yeah, I'm a very poor capitalist because I don't believe in capitalism. I hate to tell you this, it does exist. It's not yes, real, but I don't, can't believe hurt it's, me. I don't believe it's the right way. Grand tournament or another grand tournament. Ah, I think. They can grandly honk off. Both of them you have to march through I must flu. Uh, one of them I could have got away with going to see in uh, Santillana instead, but eh. I think I'm at okay. this point we just call it I'm a flu. Uh, well done, hey. lads, I guess. Hey, Selena, how are you? If my payment. Yeah, that's fair. Are you almost done, Cookie? Do I have to go down there and finish that for? You're holding me up from doing stuff because I'm at war. Cookie's half baked plot. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Does that mean he's cookie dough? It's cookie dough. I'd say that, but his kingdom's kind of poor, so he clearly doesn't have a lot of dough. Oh, I don't have anybody to bury. Oh. Maybe he cooked it all to make actual cookies. How are they Spanish cookies in Sardinia? Um... Well, you see, when they opened them, they were standing in Spain. Cookie dough sounds good. Well, that is true. 
Do well. Uh, yeah, not bad. This is our chilled out Wednesday game, so... Uh, we're, uh, we all thought we were doing well, other than, you know, the little bit of plague there. And then uh, here's the other player. <laughs> My kingdom is here. <laughs> Where you can barely see the name. And uh, yes, this is angst. That's Genghis Ganks to you. <laughs> so you can't see my name, but that's Angst who goes up. Well, in, no, in order of name sizes, it's Angst, Physics, me. I don't even appear because I am a vassal. <laughs> Granted, I'm Flanker's main vassal, but that still doesn't change the fact that I am his vassal. Just let me, just let me abduct this child. Ah, uh, I, I want the rest of the Portugal region, damn it. Hey, what? My uh, bishop's doing a good job. He's in plague-infested area, converting the faith. Well, I have heard that plague is a very good reason to change your faith. Because the justification is that words, all my words, Ah, yeah, you're plague-ridden because you are the wrong faith. Oh, Repent. Yes. Boom. Rest level zero. Oh yeah, I got rid of the drunk, then my health's gone up. Even better. You okay there, Smitty? You sure? You're making a lot of noise. Have you got your uh, your uh, doctor uh, doing plague prevention? Yes. And Jess, cool. 
that's why I'm very glad that it hasn't spread at all through my lands since. Yeah, I've I've must have I've gone pilgrims' quarters or uh, what's the castle equivalent of it? Uh, oh no, it's just pilgrims' quarters. It's available on castles and uh, chapels. Sorry, on yeah. uh, on temples to try oh, and limit the damage plagues can do. Already only on development 11. I don't need plagues coming and wiping what little development I have out. Understandable. Yeah. Thirteen, nineteen, twenty-five. My wife just not found out about a murder scheme on me. <laughs> Was she behind it? That plague going away now, please. Thank you. I seriously hope so. Mm -hmm. I think we've nearly got all of our area under control now, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> After I'm done with Najira, I just need to work on Viscaya for my control. My Archbishop is thick as a yeah. Mine's surprisingly okay with an eighteen. Damn it, I looked at the number of casualties from the plague and thought, only 50 deaths, so that's not many. And then it went up by one, and it was my counsellor. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> Thanks for your sympathy, Laz. You're welcome. It means a lot in these difficult times. <laughs> I'm glad. You want me as your steward? Interesting. I didn't think I was any good at that. <laughs> um, um, this job offer should not be seen as say, suggesting that you are. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's nepotism. I'll remember this flank. <laughs> I mean, look, you are better at being a steward than my Archbishop is at, well, being. It's a miracle he actually managed to pass his uh, bishop exam. Can anyone else uh, remove the person in charge of the Tither of Bayer? Because I'm not allowed to try for now.
tell you what, I'll kill him if you kill one of my dukes. Sure. Name. Name. Abba. <laughs> I'm Emir not saying you guys Muhammad are trading in death, but... Emir Muhammad Ibn Ahmad of Isbala. He's one of your dukes. My only duke. Your only duke. What's his name again? Oh no, I guess I have two dukes. Uh, Emirate of Isbala. Emirate. His name is Emir Muhammad Ibn Ahmad. Emir He's... Muhammad Ibn Ahmad. Yep. He's right next to the guy I'm killing for you. Oh, uh, this is not going to be very good. Uh, if it were easy, he's got 22 freaking entry. I've got 29% chance of killing him. I had a five. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, I'll have a shot. Because my king just ra mercifully just disappeared. We need to keep better track of our king. Uh, you got a new king. Yep. What time right. do you want to finish this week, by the way? Are we finishing at half five or five? It's you guys' choice. Five. For me. Five. Yeah, five would be better. No worries. Yeah, five that, five, five is, is our traditional time. Do. That's that's why I was asking. Understand, yeah, understand. But yeah, Look, if, if Russ joined time. earlier, we would we would be able to play a little bit longer. But <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, last is work to do at five o'clock. Basically, what we said five o'clock stop time. Yeah. That darn Laz, as bad as that flanker, having work to do. Oof. Dude, tonight's my date night. There's a one way, week of the night that I'm meant to, like, work just a normal number of hours. I've got a work call in two hours for an hour. But I, do uh, it over a pint. At the pub. Uh, yeah, not that sort of call. Oh. You know, there is one good thing about my king spontaneously dying. Is that I could oh, do, uh... I'm so sorry for stealing that from you. Hey, Flanker, the fluid uh, on area is gone. We have no more fluid in our area. It's all over there in Leon, so we don't need to care about it. NJ was the Andalusian culture head. No flu. You stole it from me. Yes, I did. No flu. Okay, area. right no click, murder. <laughs> Sorry, physics. Are you actually trying to get rid of the little child in Bayer? Yeah. Awesome. Why, I am why trying. Would you steal I am it trying from on yours. When I had like double your learning. <laughs> oh, actually, I can even find uh, something. Else. Not it, that's not why I did it. Nothing. I know, to do with but... it. Take it back. Get some more land and take it back. Get some more land. Are you joking? <laughs> I'm gonna get it eventually from either me or my son. Because my son w was already Andalusian, so once I die, he's gonna take it from me anyway. I'm Luckily, my son's got better to... learning. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to eventually being the king of Navarra. Jesus Christ, my wife is finally pregnant. Good news. I got it up to 95%. Wow, to kill him? What, is he sick? Yep. Nope. I had to spend a little bit of cash, but it's a price worth paying if you're going to be successful. 
checked. It was 95 when I last checked. Mm -hmm. 95. I didn't have anyone, I had to invite anyone. He's an easy little shit to kill. Yeah, but I can't. I, I tried doing the deed previously and uh, I got caught, so. Oh. You got caught doing the deed? Maybe, maybe you should be choosing better places. Well, well, Seriously, cool you haven't something. learned how to look at your phone in the door at the same time? Well, that's how he gets trapped, isn't it? So you keep from getting caught doing the deed. See you bit warning, guys. Yep. Wait. Neither one of our murder schemes are going to go off this week. Back up to speed. Sure, I'll give it a go. Give it a go. Yeah, don't do it so much you screw up my game. Oh no, 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 we're gonna screw up Genghis Khan's. Because of the amount of armies. I don't sound like angst. I know, I was saying because of the amount of his armies. Like when the merchants are not so bad, it's like problem is like that if. It, until I merge them, the, it literally gave, the game literally chokes when I just select. Uh... But you right now they're merged. So. Yeah, Forty-six thousand three star quality. Yeah. Forty-five thousand seven hundred one he has right now, and it's going down. So he's a, he's fighting somebody. Yes. That's a lot of troops. It is. The, 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 the cool part about it is just the speed that they fight at. It's actually kind of insane. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, this guy's got the trait prepared for anything. Sounds like he was prepared for anything. One minute warning. Four months. Not going to happen in a minute. All right. I'm going to say goodbye here. Okay. I'll go slow down. In fact, we may as well just end up here if everyone's ready or can pause up. Yep. Yep. Go for it. Okay. So pausing up now. And saving. If anyone else wants to grab a save game, it would be super useful too. I'll grab one. Thank you very much. Yeah, you may have better learning than me, but my counties are much better developed. See you, folks. Okay, no need to flex. See you guys. Uh, I'm going to mute up. Thank you for the games, everyone. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I don't want to say I have the only. Right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for hanging out as we played some Community uh, Crusader Kings 3 today. Uh, we've got some more again tomorrow with our Thursday evening game. Everyone's most welcome to join if you fancy it. And uh, we're going to go raiding the one, the only, FG Squared now. If you wouldn't mind coming with me on a week raid, I'd very much appreciate it. If you watch it on YouTube, if you hit the like and subscribe, hit that bell icon. It does help an enormous amount. And uh, I hope you have an awesome time over with FG. They're an awesome streamer and they're playing RimWorld, one of the games they are most known for. So you're in for a real treat. But until tomorrow, I hope you have a wonderful evening. And let's go raiding on a wee flank attack. Bye-bye for now.
I sailed, chap. I think those raiders mean to do us wrong. 